Hello everyone, uh, this video is on writing the significance of the study. This uh, area or subtopic of the thesis normally appears in the introduction chapter or chapter 1. So what is this part of the thesis? The significance of the study is part of the introduction section of the paper. Uh, it shows the importance of the research highlights how the research adds up to the development of your field and the contribution of your research to society in general. So why do you need to do this? Because again, uh, conducting any research is for the purpose of finding out the truth or answering a, a question that has uh, very limited information or finding interrelationship between variables that are not clearly explained and basically adding up to the existing pool of knowledge in your respective field. So the significance of the study, uh, normally little bits and pieces of this appears on the introductory paragraph or introductory statement, but there is a complete subtopic after the statement of the problem that talks about the significance of the study in depth. So three tips to writing a good statement of, uh, not a statement of the problem, but specific, uh, uh, significance of uh, the study. Sometimes it is called rationale of the study. Some pronounce it as rationale of the study, but basically it's talking about why is your study important. So number one, be guided by the statement of the problem. So if you are having difficulty right, uh, moving on to the next stage, which is this part, uh, the, the easiest way to do it, I uh, refer to your statement of the problem. Diba yung statement of the problem natin, two parts yon. First is the general statement of the, or the overall thesis, which we, broke, we, which we have broken down into specific research questions. So if you are having difficulty uh, kung ano ang isusulat sa uh, significance of the study, go to your statement of the problem and from there answer the following questions. First, what is the thesis all about and why are you studying it? The answer to that is your macro significance or your overarching significance of the study. And after that, after answering the, the main thesis, answer the uh, research questions and why it is important to find answers to these individual micro research questions. So do a one on one correspondence between your general statement and specific research questions. Once you have done this, more or less, you're already on your way to writing your uh, significance of the study. Number two, we write from general to specific. What does this mean? It's like from a macro importance to a micro importance. How do we do the macro importance? Look at the research gap you are trying to answer. Or look at the research problem you are trying to find uh, solutions to. And why is it important to find the answers to your research questions in general? And then after that, once you have uh, uh, pinpointed the significance of the whole society of answering these research questions, then proceed downwards towards the contribution to specific individuals. Now, when we look at the specific individuals, you can include yourself as a researcher or your colleagues or peers as future researchers. So you start off broadly, then taper off gradually to a specific group or person, and we call this the deductive approach or the inverted pyramid. So sometimes I also call it from mic macro to micro. Third tip, look at the relevance of the study in terms of your academic contributions. Do not forget the research gap, as I have mentioned in the beginning. So if it were me, I would start with why am I looking for the answer to my thesis statement in general? And then best considered in terms of usage, benefits or advantages that might be derived from the findings, recommendation and conclusion from the study. Okay, so how does that go? If you're trying to find an answer to uh, the impact of single parent families in OFW households, uh, start with why is it important to study that, the totality of it in the first place, okay? Why do you want to know how children are developing in households where a parent is working in another country or both parents are working abroad? 
So why is it important to study that? What is the implication to society, to the Filipino society in general, present and future, for example? Now, these three tips will prevent your mind from wandering wildly or aimlessly as you explore the significance of your study. Now, yung minention kung uh, kanikanina, that means macro scale yon, the totality of the study, and why is it important to answer the, the, the main thesis. And then afterwards, bakit ko kailangang tingnan ang, let's say, ang demographic profile? Bakit ko kailangang mag-compare and contrast? Bakit ko kailangang itingnan ang relationship o difference ng mga variables? Now, you're doing a one-on-one -on -one correspondence. And then, uh, pwede mo rin sabihin kung ano bang available na data lamang? Ano ang walang walang information? Kulang ba ang, ang, ang studies in this particular uh, topic or, or theme kaya ilalagay mo rin yan sa iyong significance okay uh, next next video will be on how to write the your scope and limitation so try to review uh, the tips I have uh, put into writing the significance of the study and you can start writing it uh, as soon as you can